Last week was, I know, this like sad, intense vlog, and then this week it is so nice and sunny. It's just absolutely beautiful out. Um, I'm excited to jump outside today, and it's just been a really uplifting week after a rough month because it's actually like decently warm and sunny. So I'm really excited about that. So now that it's March, I feel like we're getting closer to competition season. I've really put in like a firm set schedule for myself where I ride every day and I'm definitely like buckling down. So I'm taking a dressage lesson and a jump lesson um, once a week with my trainer Allie. So I take uh, those two lessons uh, every week. And then I have three days usually where I am working on my own. So I'm usually working on homework for my dressage lesson. Um, I like to ride dressage once a week without stirrups for the whole, for like a whole 30 minutes if possible. I think that strengthens me and just really allows me to get a feel for Gypsy. And then I try to start incorporating some conditioning right about now. And um, then usually one day a week, I try to take a long hack and um, just let her really stretch out and it's more relaxed flat work. Flower actually went to the Rolex Kentucky three day event at one point, fun fact. And she was written by Buck Davidson, another fun fact. I was trying to creep up on the pony girl taking a nap, but she saw me coming. She probably knew there were treats involved. Hey, girly. This week in my jump lesson, Allie put the jumps up a bit and I worked on really getting that fast pace that I need with Gypsy and staying lighter in my seat. I'm currently working on helping her move quickly and comfortably around the course and there are things that I need to improve upon myself as we try to move up a level this year. Close the leg. 
off the bat. Yeah. Yep, sit back. Close the leg. Good, big pat. Last year, the horse I rode couldn't see a distance like Gypsy can, so a lot of the time in the show jump ring, I feel like I need to try to adjust her when I need to actually trust her because she has already seen the distance. So I'm working on staying light and quick so that she can get the pace that she needs to move around the course, and I need to work on trusting her decision when she does see the distance. the best pony today? We jumped some big jumps? Yeah, you were. You were such a good girl. Pony power. Hey, Tippy. Gypsy and I had a great lesson today and now I have some tack to clean. one step but for some reason it just makes me think of sunscreen <laughs> I don't know why once this dries I'm gonna oil it with this Lord conditioner I love that stuff do you guys ever put tack back together and you you're like yeah I know what I'm doing and then you go to actually put it on and you're like no I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> leather care conditioner and oil. This stuff is great and I think you can only buy it online so I'll make sure to link it below in the description in case you guys want to check it out. I might have already talked about this product before so if I did I'm sorry but um, I got this leather conditioner to help soften and break in my tall boots and I just found that I loved it as like a conditioner oil in general. It's just great. It's a great product. I think I'm pretty much done. You can see that this oil really darkens and softens the leather which is really nice. Anyways, I'm just going to clean my boots and then I'm done for today. So that's pretty much it. If you're watching my vlogs and you are an eventer, uh, especially in area one in the United States, make sure you guys comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys and be able to connect with other eventers as I continue on my journey. That's pretty much it for today. I'm gonna let you guys say goodbye to Dakota and Gypsy. See you toodles. That's all for today. Until next time, guys.